Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Brick by Brick, and today we have the LEGO Star Wars Build Your Own Adventure book from 2016, it contains 73 pieces, and at its core, it is a book, um, that's, that's why it's called a book. Inside of the hard outer um, box, kind of, there are, you know, two little books, but first, just taking a quick look at this box, it shows the model that you actually get to build on the front. As well as, you know, puts the little description. And then on the side, it shows the, uh, you know, the thing again, and then it describes the book. And then on the back, it shows a couple of the models that are going to be shown inside the book. And uh, on the top, it also shows a couple of ideas, which are kind of cool. Um, you know, some of these are kind of funky, and I'd like to look through the book at some point in order to figure out exactly what kind of cool stuff is in there. But... The basic format of the book follows a little story about this guy, and it actually does uh, tell you a little bit about him on the front um, page. And this is Zin Evalon, or Evalon, or something, and it's his Y Wing. And the rest, it does show you the instructions inside the book, uh, as well as, um, you know, just some cool pictures and some different uh, building techniques and stuff which are kind of cool and kind of helps you get towards making these models uh, they're featured in the book but it doesn't actually show you like piece for piece how to build them which I think is good because it you know inspires kids to try and figure it out at the very least which you know as far as building something custom goes you know I mean it, it's better to have to try and figure out where you're going because maybe they'll end up figuring out all oh, that they don't know how to do that so they'll do something else instead you know it gets kids into the uh you know trying to figure out how to build stuff uh mindset and yeah i, I think that that's a good thing it does follow um kind of the series of locations in the movies not exactly but you know anyway that's it for the little book uh this is the other section and it's basically a set box um but really oddly shaped and doesn't actually show the set on it. Um, the one cool thing that I'd like to note is that this is one of the sides of the box and it's basically a landing pad for your little Y-Wing. And this, I believe, is actually featured as like an actual build in the um, book, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a one-to-one -one scale, so those are actually the same size as studs. But um, shows all the parts there. Let's open this up and get uh, building. Wow, that is a uh, small bag of parts. I guess you shouldn't expect too much for only 73 of them. But there goes the box. You like that magic trick? So, uh, there we go, and that is the uh, full build of the microfighter Y-Wing that is included with the uh, set, and I think that it's a uh, decently, you know, fun build. It, you know, wasn't too complicated, and uh, one thing I really wanted to comment on was that these instructions are really nicely done. I, I like them quite a bit. I don't know if I liked that they were in a separate book, but they're really, really nice quality instructions and I don't know something to or something I think was worth commenting about uh, in the review um, it, it is a little bit uh, of a shame that you know if you don't want the book and you wanna just keep the model then like if you give the book to someone else um, like a, you know uh, so that they can get the build inspiration and everything from it, uh, then you don't have the instructions anymore. But you can probably look those up online. I haven't looked myself personally, but you know, it it is probably available somewhere. Um, the figure is able to fit inside of the Y wing uh, pretty decently, and it works just like you know any normal micro fighter does. They do stick up a little, but you know, it, I think that. It, for the microfighter style, um, which I, I do kind of like, I mean, I don't dislike it, but it, it's not my favorite. Um, 
I obviously prefer the more detailed real things, but for something cheap, you know, this is a Y-Wing and it swooshes around pretty well. The uh, actual model though does look like a Y-Wing, which I think is, uh, you know, pretty good. It's instantly recognizable. I like the way they do these engines. Uh, I think that the telescopes are a perfect piece for that. Also, this is a good way to get white telescopes because you got 10 in a uh, 73p set. I think the book might be $18. I'm not 100% sure on the normal price, but you can easily get it on sale, I believe. Uh, I forget if the sale price is 18 or if the regular price is 18 because I did get this for Christmas, so I didn't pay for it. But uh, I, I do think that, you know, for a model, it, it's good. It's definitely worth the 10 or a $10 price point of a microfighter. So the question is, is the book worth it? And the other thing I did want to show real quick is what this looks like on that landing pad that is provided. And I, I think that that looks all right, especially if I move the camera in just a little so this is all you can see. I think that that makes a decent background for this uh, little model here. But let's take a look at the figure by himself. So this here is Zin Evilon, and he's technically... Like, they count him as an exclusive figure, and he's an exclusive combination of parts. Technically, none of the individual pieces of him are exclusive, but uh, they are actually a little bit less common than I expected. The face is the now standard um, X-Wing pilot, or resistance, I mean, rebel, rebel pilot. Rebel pilot face, there we go. Uh, and... It does have two expressions. Uh, the first one is cool. I really like the way the visors look on here, and I think this is a good facial print. Uh, it's just, I think that for these characters specific, uh, like where they actually name the character, they should probably give it a slightly more interesting face, but like a uh, more unique, or maybe they should have a couple different faces that they use, but they don't. Uh, the helmet is the, you know, Rebel Pilot helmet, which is really cool. I like this mold. This one isn't super detailed in print, though, which is all right. And this print appears on quite a few other Rebel Pilots. Uh, so, you know, it's not as special. Um, typically, when they make, like, one uh, individual super specific kind of Easter egg -y character, they go all out and make the full helmet detail. I'm not sure what Zin Avalon actually looks like in the movie, because um, I don't know anything about him. <laughs> but... I do think that uh, maybe if it unless this, unless this is just a generic helmet that he wears in the movie, you know maybe they should have gone a little bit uh, uh, more detailed with that. The torso looks pretty good though. Um, at first glance, it looks like the standard you know modern resistance. Um, why do I keep saying resistance? Uh, the modern rebel pilot outfit, and it. You know, is very similar to that, but this is actually a relatively uncommon torso and legs, according to um, Brickset. But uh, it, you know, it, it could be just that it's a new item number. But according to Brickset, this only appears uh, elsewhere in the X-wing microfighter, which is is interesting to me. I mean, uh, I would not really expect that, but. You know, uh, I, I guess that's cool if it is exclusive uh, to these two sets. But I, I do think that overall uh, he's a you know decent figure and he's cool. He's just not a big draw to the set. So that's pretty much it. I do think that uh, you know the Y-wing microfighter is good for a microfighter. I think that you know it's instantly recognizable and the proportions aren't too super off. Uh, I mean, like, the front cockpit is a little wider than it should be in this scale, and the whole thing is a little shorter than it should be, but, you know, I mean, it's a microfighter, so that's what you'd expect. The figure is alright, and it's cool that they actually gave him a name, um, but, you know, I mean, other than that, it, it's just a little microfighter and a figure. Um, because it's part of a book, the price is more than it would be for just a microfighter, which, I haven't looked too deeply at the uh, Build Inspiration book, but, um, you know, just uh, just from the actual parts, no, it's not worth the price of the, the full price of the book. Uh, if you're, you know, in the market for the book, and you like the Build Inspiration, which, I, you know, from what I've seen, it looks pretty good. Uh, and it looks very well-written uh, well and uh, well-made. 
better than some of the other uh, Lego books I've seen in the past. Um, but I, I, I think that it's good, it's just not for everyone. So keep that in mind. But, you know, if you're willing to give the book a shot, I, I'd say, you know, this, this is pretty good. However, I would have to caveat that with... Uh, Maybe I'd recommend, if you're looking for one of these Build Your Own Adventure books for the build inspiration and stuff, I might recommend checking out the uh, DC Superheroes one with the exclusive, uh, oh, what's his name? The the Green Lantern, John Stewart, John Stewart, Green Lantern uh, figure. So, yeah, I do think that this is an alright little uh, build. Well, I, I think it's a good little build, I just don't know if it's worth the... Uh, price you have to pay to get it with the book. If this was released as its own separate microfighter, yeah, I'd recommend it. Uh -huh, but, you know, it's kind of, if this what you're looking for, then you're going to like it. If it's not what you're looking for, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all next time. Let me know what you guys think of this Build Your Own Adventure book, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.